We're getting tons of requests on Twitter and Instagram about how Mark made his marinara sauce that he put on his pizza in the last episode. Okay, so actually there's not been any social media requests for the sauce. I just want to seem like a big man. Uh, uh, nothing! Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Well, Jamie's been telling me there's been an outpouring of requests on social media to find out how I made that pizza marinara. Today, I'm gonna show you how. Right now, I've got two full Ziploc bags of frozen tomatoes from my garden last summer. Don't throw those away. Bag them, and I'm gonna show you how to use them, and it's gonna be amazing. But first of all, I've gotta roast some garlic bulbs. So we got four bulbs of garlic there. And what we're gonna do, you wanna keep all this kind of paper intact, and carefully you're just going to cut off the top. So you can see that there, all those bulbs are exposed. So we're gonna do that for every single one. Just grab another piece of tin foil, put a bulb in the middle, we're gonna grab some avocado oil, or olive oil, whichever you prefer, and we're just going to pour some over all the garlic. And we're going to take some salt, some pepper, and then we're basically going to put that in the center and we're going to wrap it up. And we're going to do that four more times. This didn't take very long. Get that wrapped onto our wine cookie sheet. So if these leak out a little bit, the cleanup is super easy. Like that, into the oven. So the next piece of prep work is to chop a couple of onions. So everybody cuts their onions or cuts their vegetables differently. I generally just lop off both sides. Just do a little bit of a slit down the middle here on the one side. Take that first layer of onion off. It's time to prep some tomatoes. So I mentioned before these are actually frozen tomatoes that were grown in my in backyard in my garden. And then they were bagged, so you can see, rock hard. So in these bags, I've got a combination of Roma tomatoes, a, a, a general hothouse tomato, and there may be some cherry tomatoes in here as well. And a very, very quick trick, I'm gonna turn the faucet on here, lukewarm temperature, and basically you're just gonna start rubbing. See how that skin's just coming right off? There, so that tomato now is just pure greatness. So I'm going to add exactly a quarter cup, and I'm joking, of avocado oil. Fire the stove up, and I'm going to add some salt. And it's probably going to take 15 minutes or so for these tomatoes to start stewing down. Just pulled the garlic out of the oven. It looks and smells amazing. The tomatoes are still stewing down. So just having a conversation with Jamie and I was saying that sometimes these can be really easy to deal with and sometimes they can be difficult. So let's hope this is going to be one of those times that they're pretty easy to deal with. For the most part they should just pop out like that. So now what we're going to do is uh, I'll probably put those in a bowl and maybe kind of, well they're pretty soft, I may just crush them up a little bit. We're going to check on the tomatoes, see how they're doing and eventually we're going to put everything together. We only got a few chunks left here. But well, what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to hand blend this and then I'm going to sift out some of the bigger chunks, add a few more ingredients and we'll, uh, we'll be off to the races.
this is pure, pure fresh tomatoes right now. And this is a huge pot. So those two bags, we had very, very little waste. I'm actually gonna grab and show you. So that's all we had left over, was a little bit of centers, but because we removed those skins, everything just came to this beautiful pot of pure tomato. So it's a little thin. So I'm just gonna add this tomato paste. It's just gonna help thicken it up a little bit. Then we got our garlic here. We're gonna add that. Where I live, I couldn't get access to fresh basil today, so I've got dried basil. So, almost as good as the real thing. Same thing, I'm gonna add a generous amount of dried oregano. Got some coarse salt here. Here's some coarse pepper. Give that a stir of salad logs. So we have our onion here. We're gonna slowly add that so that we don't make too much of a mess. If you have a garden in your backyard and you grow tomatoes, you know that they all come on at the same time and you have a plethora of tomatoes. What do you do with them? Do you give them away? Freeze them. And use the technique I showed you today about how you could take that skin off and break them down and make an amazing, amazing marinara. Another point is this makes a great base for a spaghetti sauce or some other sauce that you want to add to. You want to add vegetables to it. You want to add mushrooms or peppers or whatever. You want to make a really, really good spaghetti sauce, there's your base. Again, super, super versatile. But let me know, give me some feedback. Let me know, how do you make marinara? Do you stew your tomatoes? Do you break them down the way that I do? Do you have an easier trick? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Hey guys, welcome back in the Average Kitchen. Jamie here. So on Facebook, 